Hi, this is Sam Shropshire from Muslim Voice for Peace and Reconciliation. We've been here in the United States now for almost three weeks. We've been speaking in churches and meeting with Jews throughout the East Coast of the United States. We've also interacted with Muslims to find out what are their concerns. Muslim Voice for Peace and Reconciliation has conducted two fact-finding trips now to the United States and missions we call them peace missions, to help people in the United States better understand Islam and to understand that Islam is a religion of peace, a religion of, of value, a religion of concern for humanity throughout the world. So we invite you to watch, to be a part of this very important trip, and to give us your feedback about the outreach of Muslim Voice for Peace and reconciliation. Anta salam, minka salam, an'im alayna bis salam. Anta salam, minka salam, an'im alayna bis salam. and I studied all human rights documents. One of the oldest human rights documents is the Declaration of Medina. And in it, the Prophet dictated this. It guaranteed religious freedom for Christians, Jews, and Muslims, and even agnostics, atheists. It said, as long as you live in peace and you don't attack each other, you're welcome to be here. You have freedom, we will protect you. Any major social issue we have in the world today, whether it's the environment, Treatment of animals, treatment of... You said the solution before. It's, yeah, it's, it's all in the Hadith, yeah. or it's in the Quran. Part of the program for this year in the United States has been to participate in the ISNA convention in Chicago. That's the Islamic Society North America convention. Uh, we contacted thousands of people through our ex exhibition booth we were able to interact with uh, not only mosques and imams, but also we had contact with churches and others who were there to observe the ISNA proceedings. We're very grateful for those contacts and for the many friendships that were made. <laughs> This is an interfaith Quran that I worked on. Okay. I went to Saudi Arabia to work on just correcting the English. But as I was invited to work on this, I was a Christian. I went only to correct the English to make sure it was accurate and understandable. I added also footnotes at the bottom confirming that the Quran is true from the Torah Zabur and from the Indian. There's a passage that said, there are amongst the people of the book those who are Muslim. And when they... <laughs> hear the words of the Quran and they understand, they, they began to cry. Yeah. Well, let's say God, the most merciful, is mentioned. I show in the Bible where it's mentioned, Old Testament, New Testament, many terms like this. Interesting. And uh, this is to encourage Jews and Christians to read the Quran. Hi. Somebody tell me Native Dean is around. Oh, we know about Native Dean a little bit. <laughs> I love you. I'm glad to meet you guys. I'm with Muslim Voice for Peace and Reconciliation. We train Muslim youth to be peacemakers throughout the world. My mother taught me to be Muslim when I was three or four years old. She taught me to pray to the God of Abraham. But I never knew what that meant until I ended up in Saudi Arabia. That's a story. That's, wow, that's powerful. In the Washington, D.C. area, we visited churches in Annapolis, Maryland. We also uh, interacted with many peace groups and others in Annapolis, Washington, D.C. <laughs> أنت العظيم 
هذا العلا هذا المقام فاقسم لنا عيش الكرام واكتب لنا سبل السلام صلى عليك وسلم ذاق السعاد I just want to say a couple of words as everybody here knows my life was in a horrible depression seven and eight years ago, politically and mentally. I couldn't put one, I couldn't add one plus one. But um, God, in a very miraculous way, led me into the deserts of Saudi Arabia. But I can say honestly that I've never been in any country where I felt so appreciated as an American as in Saudi Arabia. Our vision is that the future Saudi youth will be known as peacemakers in the world of conflict, and that we can help eliminate war in the Middle East by through our faith and action. So if you would pray for that, we would be grateful. Peace Action is one with Muslim Voice for Peace and Reconciliation. When we say reconciliation, we mean reconciling the Abrahamic faiths, Christians, Jews, and Muslims, bringing them together and working with peoples of other faiths around the world for world peace. Thank you very much for letting us be here today. They want people to know that Muslims love Jesus too. We went to the White House to voice our concerns and a good message, strong message, and uh, I think we had very good turnout in all events in those areas. إنسانيتنا تدعونا أن نتواصل إن لم يكن الأمر وفاقا فلتتقبل سامح واصفح أنت الرابح وغدا تجر سامح أنت الرابح سامح واصفح واغفر وعفو قدرك يا On the East Coast, we also moved from Washington, D.C. down to Tennessee, where we had a visit with my brother and sister-in-law, uh, my group, MVPR team. These were the first Muslims my brother and sister-in-law had ever met. <laughs> And she said, Indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful, in God, from you. So leave me, if you should be fearing of Allah. And he said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy, a baby. She said, How can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been unchaste? And it's the same stories in the Gospels. Most people don't realize this. But see, they, they need to do more work educating the Americans, you know, the Muslims do. From there, we moved to North Carolina for meetings with Congressman Mark Siljander and his wife, Nancy. We had some very good interfaith discussions. Mark is the author of the book, A Deadly Misunderstanding, uh, trying to clarify Islam and its relationship and commonalities with Christianity and Judaism. When the time gets hard, there's no way to turn. As you pray, submission, faith, and patience, you can... From North Carolina, we moved to Greenville, South Carolina, where we had meetings at Bob Jones Academy, my alma mater, my high school. It was here that I, I grew to love God in a very sincere way. 
I studied theology, I studied Bible. Ya Habibi, Ya Muhammad, Ya Nabi, Salam Alayka, Ya Rasul, Salam Alayka, Ya Habib, Salam Alayka, In the state of Georgia, we went to First Baptist Church of Jefferson, Georgia, where we had discussions with the associate pastor. That there are amongst the Christians and the Jews, those who believe in the God of Abraham, and we have a lot of similarities, and we're not so different after all. We need to stop and listen to each other. You can see that in the Baptist churches, they're teaching children to worship and pray to the God of Abraham. It's very important. And this is the basis, it was on this basis that I began to believe in Islam. This is the mother who taught me about the God of Abraham. And this is the father who named me after Prophet Samuel. God bless and encourage them both and bring them into Jannah. Other important meetings were at Al Qasam Mosque in Tampa, Florida. The best way is through our actions. It was the hug of Shafiq when I asked to come in brought me into Islam. And it's our hugs and our kindness and our smiles and our watching out for others that's going to bring them to Islam. I believe America's on the edge of a great awakening, a spiritual awakening, where many people will begin to understand what is Islam and will come forward. God bless you all. Thank you for your prayers. We also want to thank Hassan Sultan, TMC Tampa, for their hosting us for an evening for discussions that took place in their office and uh, listening to Asa Al Haj Hussein and other members of the MVPR team who were with me. <laughs> Then we spoke in Christian churches, uh, St. Paul's Lutheran Church. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here at St. Paul Lutheran Church today. Briefly, my path to Saudi Arabia uh, led to working on a project involving a new American contemporary English translation of the Quran. But as I read, my life began to change because many of the things I'd been told about Islam, I found out were false. I never knew that Muslims loved the Virgin Mary or that there were two large sections of the Quran talking about the Virgin Mary and the Virgin Birth of Christ. I never realized that there was so much respect for Christ, the Messiah of God, so much respect in that country that they would even name some of their children Asa or Jesus. I have one with me today. So that was my path, and I won't say too much more about it other than the fact that Muslim means to submit to the God of Abraham. And I submitted to the God of Abraham with my whole heart, with my life, and I'm now a part of that community. Thank you for letting us be here with you today. We love you very much. May God bless this congregation and, and direct you and guide you on your path of faith. And we thank you for receiving us as your brothers.
want to thank CARE Florida for hosting us while we were in the state, arranging meetings for us. We're very grateful to CARE for their love and concern for Muslims in the state of Florida, and we're glad to be a part of their outreach. After our stops in Florida, we continued to Havana, Cuba, one of the first Muslim delegations to visit Havana. Following those visits, we, our team began to split. Some went as uh, Toronto. In Los Angeles, along the Hollywood Walk of Fame, we were able to distribute Qurans and speak with people about our faith and to encourage others who were looking for something more in life. In Bangkok, Thailand, Asa Haj Hussein, my associate, was selected to participate at the University Scholars Program sponsored by the United Nations. We went on to uh, Cape Town, South Africa, where we met with our MVP, our peacemaking team. They've been established there for several months now, and we're very grateful for the hard work they're doing on a regular basis. And then in Durban, South Africa, uh, we spoke in several churches, and we held a training session for peacemakers at IPCI. So this has been a whirlwind tour. We want to thank all the sponsors of this trip, those who participated by praying for our team and also by giving to make this event happen. Uh, because of you, thousands, thousands of people have been touched by Muslim Voice for Peace and Reconciliation. They've heard the words that our great love for Jesus has led us to Islam. They've, they've witnessed and felt the love of Muslims for them individually, the love that compels people to come. So we want to thank you all. We appreciate your support and we're very grateful to you because it's you, your giving, your support, that has made this mission possible. Oh, 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 oh.